For both men and women, the risk of developing coronary heart disease goes up significantly with age. At any age group, women have a lower risk statistically than men. The risk in women goes up appreciably where you get to about 10% of the population in that age group will have coronary disease once women get to greater than 75 to 80 years old. So that is the age range where the treatments that prevent coronary heart disease will have their greatest impact, the biggest bang for the buck, let's say. Coronary heart disease is when you develop buildup of cholesterol in the arteries bringing blood to the heart. We call these plaques and the disease process is termed atherosclerosis. If that happens suddenly and you get an acute closure, we call it a heart attack. If it happens slowly and causes a gradual narrowing, we call it angina. The symptoms of coronary heart disease in women often are similar to men, but they can be quite different. Chest pain is the most common symptom, and pain can mean discomfort of any type. But there have been studies that have found that women close to 40 to 50 percent of the time who are having a heart attack may not have any chest pain. They tend to experience prominent symptoms of shortness of breath and, more so than men, symptoms of generalized weakness, fatigue, low energy. The risk factors for coronary disease in women are much the same as men, although they carry different weights in some cases. So, for women, the risk goes up with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, cigarette smoking, or having a family history of early coronary disease. But in women, for instance, they are at a significantly proportional increased risk for heart disease if they have diabetes than men. For instance, women will have triple the risk, whereas men will have approximately double the risk. While those are the major risk factors for coronary disease, there are other factors that do increase the risk somewhat in most studies. For instance, studies done of many healthy women without disease have shown that for every gradual increase in body mass index, which is a measure of obesity, the risk goes up significantly. In addition, women who are sedentary or exercise less have a higher risk than those who exercise even, in some studies, less than an hour total per week. And the interesting thing to note is that women who have not been exercising for much of their life, if they start exercising later in life, their risk goes down and starts to approach those who have been active for a long period of time. Detecting coronary heart disease in women utilizes techniques similar to men. The bread and butter technique is stress testing where somebody walks on a treadmill and you look for changes in the electrocardiogram or EKG that suggest an underlying blockage. In some women, the tests should be combined with imaging studies like ultrasound of the heart called echocardiogram or nuclear stress testing which provides additional information and increases the likelihood that you'll find a problem if one is there. So even though the risk in women goes up appreciably once they reach the age of about 75 or more, that doesn't mean that no women under that age have heart attacks or develop angina. In fact, any doctor who's been taking care of a lot of patients has seen women in their 40s or 50s and sometimes 30s come in with heart attacks. The risk might be only about 2 to 5 percent in those age groups. But the trick is to try to find those who are at risk of that happening early and prevent it from happening.